What's going on guys, you're in with Heart Attack, and welcome to the Elite Four Zahir Region edition of Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. In the last episode, we defeated the 8th Gym Leader and made our way through Victory Road here to the Elite Four. In the video between those two, we did a bunch of grinding, and here is, that's my phone, here is my final team. We have Fruit Whoop, who I think he actually learned this before the last video, got himself Dragon Claw. Um, I decided to get everyone to 69 except one Pokemon, which I kind of stopped paying attention and went well level too high, but we'll get to that in a second. We have Cluckers, who were in Sky Uppercut, which I'm um, super happy face because that's going to be awesome for I don't know what, but I'm sure it'll be awesome. We have Rusty, who got Outrage. Oh god, it's going to be so amazing. Rusty's going to Outrage everything. Unfortunately, Outrage is a special move in this game, and Rusty's physical attack is way higher. But, eh, you know, whatever. Lenoro, our newest team member to Tora... Torterra, voted by you guys, was Leech Seed, Crunch, Earthquake, and Giga Drain. Um, I'm not too happy with Giga Drain. I wish we could have like a more powerful grass type move, but I think besides like Petal Dance and Solar Beam, this is like the most powerful grass type move in this game because I don't think there was Seed Bomb yet. Um, we have Lapras, who I accidentally went to 70 because I wasn't paying attention. Um, that's what happens when you're on Skype while grinding. Um, and I don't think anything changed on the Lapras. And we got Keckles, who is just still Keckles, and he's awesome. So before we go into UE4, let's just take our TM bag and see if we have anything useful that we could use or gift out. Um, Dragon Claw, can anybody learn that? Rusty can, but we already have Outrage, so I think I'll stick with Outrage. Calm Mind could be interesting on Keckles over Confuse Ray, but the only move would benefit is Extra Sensory, and I don't really know when we'd have a time to set up. And I'm not really the kind to of set up, so... Uh, Roar, Bulk Up. Bulk Up could be interesting on Cluckers. Uh, no. Ice Beam? No, I don't know. We already have someone that has that. Thunder. Can anyone wear Thunder? Because I don't think we have any electric attacks. Ooh, Orange can. That would be kind of interesting to give Orange Rain Dance and Thunder. Because um, then Thunder would have 100% accuracy. And... You know what? I think I'm going to... I'm gonna give him at least thunder. You know, I, what is? I forgot what thunder's accuracy is. Is it 75 or 80? Um, because I might not give orange rain dance because I kind of like having body slam on because it's good coverage. Thunder is 70 accuracy. Oh, I don't know. That's really risky. Earthquake. Can anyone wear an earthquake? Keckles. Ooh. Uh, that would be good. I don't know. Which who would benefit from that more? And Fruit Loop can learn it. Oh man. Um. What is Fruit Loops move set? I don't remember. Crunch, Rock Slide, Fly, Dragon Claw. I really like that. I don't want to replace anything on that. So, I want to give Earthquake to somebody. Let's give it to... I think it would be better coverage for Keckles, to be honest, because I'm not going to be using Confuse Ray at all. So, it'll, it'll hit Fire types if we need to. Flamethrower, we don't need to bother with that. You saw it, your Power Thief. Alright, so, it looks like we are ready to go. Take on the Elite Four. And, oh, okay, no, apparently not yet. Um, hello, Hardy. I'd like to thank you for everything you did to help the Pokemon Society. We're very grateful to you, and I hope I'll see you at the next round in the Pokemon World Championships. I'm only here for a battle. Get ready. Oh, I can congratulate you because you made it all the way here to the UE4, but no, it's not going to battle you and be a douchebag. Yay. That is a water type. I should switch out. Um, you know what? Let's go try out our brand new Thunder and see if it actually hits. It misses. Yay. I can already see how this is going to go, but it manages to hit the second time. And are we gonna? Of course, we're gonna one shot it. There's no way that thing is surviving. It is five levels plus. I know we will be entering the Elite Four just a tad bit over leveled, but um, by the time I think the champion's highest Pokemon is um, 76 or 78, so it will definitely be under leveled by the time we get to the champion. It'll it'll all balance out. So hopefully we'll actually have like a challenge at the champion. I know the first battle is probably going to be really easy, and I should really buy some, like, Hyper Potions, because I think I'm running a little low on them. Um, is there a Pokemart thing here? There is. Is this Pokemart? Yes. Okay, so let's just spend the rest of our money on Hyper Potions, and I should have got full restores in hindsight, but you know what? Oh, well. And now I'm actually doing this relatively blind, because I don't remember most of the types. I think the first one is Ground, so let's lead with... Uh, Wanaro, and I know there's a water type, and I think the champion is dragon, but that's all I remember. I don't remember anything else, so well, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, the first member of Elite Four, let's do this. Oh, Elite Four, AZ, wants to battle and sends out a Steelix. Oh boy. 
Um, that's okay. We got Earthquake. We are over leveled right now, like I said, but it will bounce out, I promise. By the champion, we'll be like five to six levels under level, I believe. Wow, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Um, but it's okay, because another Earthquake will kill the Steelix. I'm going to try not to use the speed button that much, because this is the UE4. I want it to be dramatic, and I want it to be like, oh my god, anyone could die at any second, instead of just speeding through it and getting done with this in like 10 minutes. Because. <sighs> really? Phone? Are we going to keep doing that? Okay. For. Claydol. I'm really worried this thing's going to have explosion. So. Let's go with Keckles, because Keckles can take explosions for days, because he's a huge freaking steel type. And we'll Shadow Ball. Sandstorm? Um, that doesn't affect me at all, silly. I don't know what benefit he would get from using Sandstorm, since I'm a Steel type. But let's try not to question it. And there's the completely useless special defense drop. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew you would have Explosion. Keckles is going to laugh that off. Wow, actually, that did a little more than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, but it's fine. It's no longer an issue. So let's go back to Anaro, and we can Giga Drain away what HP we're missing. And because we're still a ground type, that is still completely useless. I'm really happy to have Leech Seed. I love Leech Seed because it's so good for stalling. Um, so I'm excited to get to a point where we'll actually need it because then we can like stall them out and just laugh at them. So I don't want to use another Giga Drain because I want to try to save them for like... Well, actually in hindsight, I really shouldn't be using Lenoro in the water type one because he is a ground type. So... Uh, you know what? I'm just bragging about Leech Seed. Let's show it off a little bit. And, wow, that's doing a lot of damage. But Leech Seed is going to recover me, and we can crunch him. Oh, full restore. I actually did not see that one coming. Uh, okay, you know what? We will be able to get back a ton of health now because he's full restore. We keep crunching. Or you can keep double edging, which is extremely rude, sir. I don't appreciate that. But I think after this crunch, you are dead. So, yay! He's gone. And I think the final Pokemon is a Torterra. Who I... I think I'm going to use Fruit Loop. I don't want to... I want to use like a variety. Use all six of my Pokemon. Because I don't want to train them just to like be sitting here and being completely use useless. And how is that Sandstorm still up? Jeez, that's been such a long time. So I'm assuming he's going to have a moveset similar to mine. So he's probably going to have Leech Seed, Earthquake. I think he'll have Synthesis actually. Ooh, Giga Drain. That's a little scary. Um, actually, apparently it's not scary at all. So let's... Is he going to use another Full Restore? I don't know, just in case. He is! Wow. I should have saw that coming. I should have Dragon Claw and then Fly, because then the Fly would have been guaranteed to kill it. Oh well, it's too late for that. But, um... Seriously, how is that Sandstorm not going away? Oh, right, his Hippowdon has Sandstream, doesn't it? Okay, well that makes a little more sense then. I was like freaking out, like, my god, Sandstorm's not supposed to last that long. What's going on here? And finally is a Crocodile, which we will use Orange for. So I think we used everyone besides Kekos in this battle, which, you know what? I'm proud of that. I did a successful using everyone on my team thingamabob. The bad news is I have no idea who the next member to be for is. I want to think that it's the water type one, but I really have no idea. You exceeded my expectations. You have a very strong Pokemon team. Please proceed in the next room. I will, sir. Thank you for your nice words. And why do we come in facing the opposite direction? It's a conspiracy. Oh my god, I've no- okay. Yeah, looking at him, that's totally water. So we will... Um... Wow, we have one, two, three Pokemon weak to water. Um... One neutral and two that resist it. So let's lead with orange, because I'm... I'm not feeling very, like, risky today. Hello, friend! I'm Triton, the Ocean Prince of Zarya's Leaf 4. I'll beat you with my water Pokemon. Oh my god, he's gonna beat me. Is he gonna, like, whip me with his water bending? Ah... Uh. Okay, he would just, he reminds me of Misty. What the heck? That looks like the boy version of Misty. Uh, that's a little scary. Okay, so now we're starting to get into the higher level Pokemon. Let's start off with the, okay, just protect from my freaking thunder. And, okay, oh, oh my god, you just screwed yourself. Oh my god, why would you use Raid Dance? What the heck? You, sir, just wrote your death sentence. Wow, you freaking lived that? Are you serious? Okay, I'll freaking, I'll body slammed and hopefully the next thunder should kill you. Knowing my luck, the rain's going to expire really quick, which would really suck. But hopefully we can at least get off a few of his Pokemon. Oh my god, a Gyarados. Why? You see me using... You see me freaking using Thunder, and your uh, idea is to send in Gyarados. Really? Oh my god, you're not even trying to make this challenging, are you? 
It's just, it's not even fair, man. It's not even fair. Okay, you know what? Let's switch it up a little and go with Keckles for the Tentacruel. And we can extra sensory. Yep, there goes the... Wow, I'm actually kind of glad the rain went away because the Hydro Pump would have done like 50% more with the rain up. Which is kind of a scary amount. So let's Hyper Potion because we're getting a little bit low. And I think if he hits another uh, Hydro Pump, we would be dead. So, yeah. Actually, I don't know if that would have killed Keckles or not. Are you seriously hitting every Hyper Potion, yet I can't hit, like, one Thunder without Rain? Do you know how annoying- Oh, 69, wow. <laughs> Keckles, you're so dirty. Um, Samurott, let's go... Noro. Um, this is, like, one of the more tricky ones, because I really have to be careful with, like, half my team being weak to water. And I didn't even, like, realize that. Am I really faster than Samurott? Isn't Samurott, like, a relatively fast Pokemon? Huh. Okay. You know, whatever. I won't question that. But that doesn't seem right. I, I thought um, Samurott was pretty strong, but... You know, okay. Whatever. Let's go back in orange to finish off the Whale Lord. Oh my god, Whale Lord 69. We totally need a Skitty out here right now. Ah! And of course, I'm gonna miss every freaking Thunder. And he's just gonna get off a million Amnesia, so my Thunders... Are you... Really? Okay, we hit one. It's not gonna do anything because it's a plus two special defense. Oh my god. But we paralyzed him. I guess that's a, a plus. Um, I guess we'll just body slam now. I don't know what to do against this thing. <laughs> and... Oh my god, no! Uh, fine. Okay, it should wake up on this turn. Okay, no, it's gonna wake up on this turn, but hopefully we can kill it first. Is it gonna die? It does die! Yay! Alright, two members of the four down. This is going by relatively quick because I'm using the speed button like I said I wouldn't. But let's give everyone a nice round of Piper Potions. Now things are just starting to get a little tough, because they're pretty much the same level as we are. But um, I think like the only one that's probably really going to be a challenge is the fourth one and the champion. So, But I have no idea what type this one is. Looking at him, I want to think Steel? I don't know, he looks like a Steel guy. Let's just, I guess, lead it with Cluckers, because if he's not Steel, if he's like Ghost or something, we could probably work this out. Anyways, hello, I'm Lucia, known by many as the Dark Lady. Oh my god, you're a girl? I would have swore you were just like Steven with like a fancy haircut. I trained in Dardust City for a long time to develop this style, preparing to face the power of Dark Pokemon. Okay, you know what? That works too, because Cluckers is just as effective against Dark type Pokemon. So, unless you have it. Okay, yeah, it is a girl. Huh. I would not have guessed that. So, she. I'm assuming she has a Sableye, because like every Dark and Ghost person has a freaking Sableye. But let's just Sky Uppercut this Houndoom. I don't know why, but I always, like, really hate Houndoom's, like, sprite in this game and his, like, official artwork. It just, it looks really stupid. He looks, like, really skinny, and I just, like, I want to punch him. I don't know why. He didn't do anything to, like, deserve to get punched, but I just, I really have that desire. I mean, the, I like the Dream World artwork for Houndoom. He looks really cool in the Dream World artwork. I mean, he looks like a normal, not douchebag kind of dog thing. And then you have this Houndoom with like really skinny legs and like a really slim and thin body. And that's not who I meant to send out. What the heck? I meant to send out um, Lapras. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, we actually could have gone with Fruit Loop and Rock Slided, but... You know what? Yeah. I'll rest. Why am I switching out? Okay. Meanwhile. Okay. That, that's a good move. Uh, Rock Slide. It's probably going to do maybe about a little over half, I guess. I don't think it's going to do a lot. Or it could just totally one-shot. Wow. I thought Honchkrow was relatively bulky. Apparently not. What the heck? Um, okay, up next is Scrafty. <gasps> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Callum, this is for you, buddy. Oh my god, Callum, you're so stupid. You used high jump kick. This is what you get for hitting 20,000 subscribers before me. How dare you pass me? How dare you? I thought we were friends, man. I thought we were friends. I remember when you had like 400 subscribers. Now you, you have more than me. And that can't happen. Okay, I don't think we've used Rusty yet, so let's use Rusty to take on the Umbreon. And we will just Earthquake this thing, which I don't think... Yeah, definitely it's not going to one-shot it, but another Earthquake. We'll take the Umbreon down, and we are done with the third member. Okay, so we are now on to the two challenging ones, and I have to stop using the speed button, because I was expecting this to be like an hour-long video. But now we're like 15 minutes in, and we're already three-quarters of the way done. So here we go. The fourth member, I am not going to use the speed button at all. Ooh, you are probably a ghost type. So I will stick with Cluckers. Do I need to heal anybody? I don't even, I didn't take any damage that battle. Wow. Okay, here we go. 
You deserve congratulations for making it far enough to face me. But your journey will end here. I bet Elizabeth, the Iron Queen. Oh my god, you're the steel one? What the heck? The last lady looks like the steel type. You look like you could be ghost or dark. But no, you're the steel one. And your hair changed colors. What the heck? And you have an Empoleon. What the double heck? That's not what I expected at all. Um, okay. We're switching out. Let's go... I think orange can take a hit, and then we could probably thunder. Hydro pump. Okay, I saw that coming. I don't. I don't know if Cluckers could have lived a hydro pump. It's kind of like 50/50. But we will thunder. Oh my God, we actually hit thunder. I can't believe it. We never freaking hit that move, and it's not going to kill. But we did get to paralysis. Does thunder? I think thunder has a 30% chance to paralyze, which. Um, I think Thunderbolt only normally has like 10, so that must be why we're getting a lot of paralysis, because... Wow, are we seriously already out of Thunders? Okay, that sucks. Um, I guess Body Slam? I don't know what to do against this thing. It resists all three of my moves. Drill Peck is... Um, you're probably going to full restore. I don't know, is that full restore range? It is. I should have switched out. I had an opportunity there. I could have gone into Tortora, but no... So instead, we'll just body slam you and hope for another paralysis, which we got on the first turn. What the heck, orange? I'm still using the speed button. I'm sorry, but we just... Okay, what are you going to use? You paralyzed. Oh my god, we're going to do this, guys. We're going to do this. We can do this. We're going to beat this Empoleon if it's the last thing we do. Now we're we're starting to get into the challenging part. This is where I, th I thought it'd be a little more challenging, but instead you're going to use mist, so that's cool. You had a chance to attack us. You could use like drill pack and got a one hit million KO. Even though that's not drill pack. But if you're going to use another four star, you are not. So your Empoleon is now dead. Four more steel types to go. We should have. I think Empoleon's probably the only steel type that'd give Cluckers some damage. So next up is a Bronzong. For Bronzong, we will use Cluckers. Yeah, Cluckers. He's so good. I know Cluckers got a lot of use in the last battle, but look at it, man. I wish he was a Mega Blaze again. That'd be awesome. But. Oh, wait, no. There's no heat proof in this game, is there? That's just 4th gen, so he's... Wow, are you serious, Bronzong? What the heck? Okay, you're probably, I imagine, going to use another form of store? Oh, you are. Okay. Well, we'll sky uppercut your bell. We'll ring your bell. <laughs> uh, I'm not funny, am I? Damn. Okay. Oh, well. Well, we are now level 70, which is awesome. Next, next is Skarmory, so... Let's go Fruit Loop for Skarmory. This is a little risky because I think Fruit Loop's actually weak to steel types. But you know what? I like the challenge. And I think we'll actually get to level 70 as well. Metal Sound. Okay, I don't think Skarmory has really decent special attack at all. Much less, I don't even know if Skarmory learns special type moves normally. Because steel is physical. So that is super effective against us. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Fruit Loop, what the heck? No! <laughs> Oh, how did I not see that coming? Uh, okay, that was my fault. I take full credit for that. I'm stupid. It did get a crit. I couldn't control that. I could pretty much guarantee he would have lived that that wasn't a crit, but that was my fault. I'm like, oh, I want a challenge. Let's send out a Pokemon to die. What, what was I thinking? I should have actually used someone who has Earthquake here. And my... Bronzong would have been a good choice for Agron, but oh well, Surf one-shot him. And I'm assuming her last Pokemon is probably Metagross? Yep, okay, that was too easy to predict. We will let, um, let's let Torterra handle Metagross. I just realized we have three Pokemon with Earthquake, so that's kind of an overkill, but it looks like we will be making it to the champion. This battle just got a little more intense, so I'm kind of excited about the champion battle now. Like, you really... You safeguard, dude. You had such a good opportunity there to do some damage to me. You could have, like, meteor mashed. You could have, like, psychic. But no, instead you you use um, safeguard. So, that's cool. Let's crunch because I don't want to waste my earthquake on you. And you lived. Okay, see, there you go. Meteor mash. That's so much better. I'm so much happier now that you did that. I'm not going to lie. I feel very satisfied. And... Alright, we defeated the Elite Four. It is now time for the champion, guys, of the Zerhi region. We go, now you're gonna one step closer to conquering the Zerhi region, but you still have to defend the champion, Kyo Rai, or, I don't know. Does there even have, like, a proper pronunciation for that name? 
I feel like the maker of this hack just kind of took my theory of taking random letters and made that his thing. So let's, oh, my poor fruit loop. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm pretty sure this guy is dragon or he might be mixed. I don't know, either way to champion, here we go. I knew I would get to face you. The first time I saw you, I knew you had great potential. You really are good, but now it's time to face the real Zeri League champion. Was there a fake Zeri League champion? I feel confused now. I didn't realize there was an imposter. I don't know why you have to point out, oh, I'm the real one. I'm better than everyone else. You have a Charizard, sir. I am actually kind of scared because it's relatively high level. Um, let's, uh, you resist sky uppercut. I, I don't know, does fire resist fire? I don't remember. You have wing attack. Why did I not think that through? Oh my god. Clackers. <laughs> okay, you do resist fire. That's fantastic. Um. Oh, poop. Let's. Orange. I know it can take a wing attack just fine. I'm a little worried if Orange can take a water type move or a fire type move since it is neutral, but Orange is super bulky, so I'm sure we'll be fine. Why would you keep using wing attack? What the heck? Why would you not use flamethrower? Seems like such a good time to use flamethrower, but no. Now you're dead. I hope you're happy. Okay, guys, one down. We can do this. Five more to go. This is without a doubt going to be the toughest battle we've had in this game so far. So, for Rampardos, let's use Rusty. I believe it's, I want to think his highest Pokemon is like a 76 or 78 Dragonite. So, okay, there's a 76. So, I'm starting to think his highest is going to be 78. Um, oh, yeah, we both have Intimidate, which really sucks. He's going to be Earthquaking. Okay, please, Rampardos, just die. You're seven levels higher, and I'm kind of paranoid you're going to have a strong move. With Intimidate, oh my god, no. Oh my god, it has a scary face. Ah, it's so terrifying. Ah. Wow, that was pathetic. Okay, let's finish you off with a crunch. I'm just joking about the finishing you off, but now after the crunch, Earthquake will one-shot you. So, whew, man. I was like freaked out, like, oh my god, what is Rampardos going to do? And then I saw scary... Oh boy. Wait, what? 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 But, um, okay. That's cool. Send in a Pokemon that's weak to ground. Pokelogic. Oh. You're going to use a fighting type move. Um. Uh huh. I want to crunch. Oh god. It's like, I can do it. I can do it, but I don't think I could take a hit. Keckles, let's do this, buddy. You got this. I know you can take a move. You have cross chop. Keckles, come on, buddy. Keckles, oh, very nice. And we will extra sensory you to death. Reversal, ooh. It's a shame you're not slower than us, because that would probably kill. What? What? Keckles. Uh. I was like, uh. Is it reversal weaker than cross chop? I thought reversal was only double the power if you're hit first, and we didn't do any damage to him. What the heck? Freaking Keckles, no! I want my Keckles. Okay, uh. uh <laughs> I deserve to have Fruit Loop die. Keckles did not deserve that, man. Keckles should have lived, but no. Freaking reversal. Uh, Salamance, okay. You know what? I want to stay in, and we're going to try out Outrage for the first time, because we haven't used this move since we got it. Intimidate all you want. Outrage is special. Oh my god, you're using it too. I didn't think that through. Um, Rusty? Rusty? Okay. Please one-shot him, otherwise Rusty's dead. And Oh my god, I did nothing! No! No, Rusty! Rusty! Oh my god, Rusty, you lived! Please, Salamance, get confused. Rusty, get confused. If Rusty's confused, I can switch out. Rusty? Yes! I can switch. Oh my god, thank you. No! 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 Rusty, no! I pressed A too many times! No! No! No, I didn't mean for that to happen. I pressed A too many times. No! No! Ah! No! no. Rusty! Oh. Why am I so stupid? It's the poke of flute all over again! Ah! Haxus! Oh my god, there's so many freaking dragons here! 
Oh, this was such a bad idea. Well, come on, Orange. You got to do this. It's like up to you right now because I think it's last three Pokemon and Dragons. Please. Oh, my God. You didn't one shot it. But you froze it. That's hilarious. And he has a Citrus Berry. I'm really scared. Let's heal up. Um, we are. Okay, what's he going to do? It's frozen. Okay, so that was a free turn. Now we can Ice Beam again. Oh, my God. Yes, stay frozen. That's awesome. Okay, and Hexus is dead. One more Pokemon. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm confident we're going to win. I'm just really worried we're going to die. Where something's going to die. Because I still have a whole other region to go to. And we'll talk more about that region later. But, um... Ah, come on. Orange. I know you could take this, right? Orange. Okay. Ice Beam, please kill it, maybe. Uh, Hax Garchomp is four times weak to it. Hactress is only two. So Garchomp's got to die, right? 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 Yes! It was a crit. I don't, I don't think it mattered. Whew, wow. I got the blood pumping. <laughs> I'm speechless. You overpowered me so quickly. That was brilliant. Wow. Um, now that you've conquered a Zerhi region, the first thing I'll say is congratulations. You were sensational. Wow, that was terrifying. Hardy, that was amazing. Hey, who the hell is May? I'm so proud of you. If your dad was here, he'd say the same thing. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Your mom and I came to cheer you on, but we missed it. Hardy, it's time to enter your Pokemon in the Hall of Fame. Come with me. Wow, I can't believe we did it, guys. Oh, that was so nerve-wracking. Why do we always enter a room backwards? I really want to know the answer to this. Hardy, this is the Zerhi Hall of Fame. Now you'll be recognized throughout the Pokemon world as a Pokemon master. Type your name and team of Pokemon into the machine. This is it, guys. Oh my god, look at all the weird screens. <laughs> I don't, this doesn't even count as me winning a Nuzlocke because I still have the stupid second region and I'm, wait, what? Where's the credits, yo? Aw, oh, what the heck? Okay, well, anyways, we did it, guys. We beat the Zerhi region and we only lost three Pokemon. That made me really sad and they were all really stupid. Rusty shouldn't be dead. I really messed that up. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um... For becoming Zerhi Region Champion, how about 333 likes? If I get that, I'll be very much appreciated. Anyways, until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. On the next episode of White Platinum, we'll be entering the Lauren League. And we'll probably like beat all the gyms in one episode, because it's actually really quick. So, yay, bye, peace. Yeah, whatever I'm supposed to say here. Just leave.